Sunday school. That's working. Yeah.
Good evening, and we are so glad that you are here at Rogers First Nazarene, and it's a privilege to have uh, John Ashcroft with us, and we are going to have a very special time in Scripture and Song as he leads us through uh, Proverbs chapter 5, uh, chapter 3, verses 5 through 6, which happens to be my life verse, probably a lot of people's life verse, of trusting in the Lord and not leaning on, on our own understanding. And so I'm looking forward to tonight and singing some beautiful songs of faith, reading scripture together. And this is a participation time, and, and Mr. Ashcroft will kind of give you the instructions about what we're doing tonight. But it is a worship time, not a concert. It's a time for us to gather together and proclaim God's faithfulness, remember his mercy, and also to share forth his glory and his grace. And I'm excited about that. As we start tonight, I want to just open up with a word of prayer and thank the Lord for his blessing and pray for his anointing upon our time together. Father, thank you for the privilege of being here tonight. And we've gathered from different parts, and some have driven in from long distances, and we consider it such a joy to be here with John Ashcroft and with Joy Wooten, who's accompanist. We're so thankful for them and the ministry that they've had in years past here, as well as what's going to happen tonight. We thank you for friendship and, and for your uh, spirit that joins us all who know you as brothers and sisters in Christ, part of your body, part of your family, extended. May you be here tonight to be glorified and honored, and may you be pleased with all the meditations of our heart, the attitudes of our mind, the actions of our bodies, that it would bring honor and glory to you, and build up your body, that the whole world would see you at work, your love displayed in people who show forth that love. So we pray your anointing upon John as he shares, upon all of the music, upon our hearts. Open our hearts and our minds to your spirit and what you want to say tonight to us and through us. And for those viewing online, we pray your anointing upon them, that this would be an exciting time and a rejuvenating time, a renewing time in their hearts and spirits. So we give you praise tonight and thank you for your mercy. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Let's welcome John Ashcroft as he comes to share with us tonight. Good evening to you, and happy Father's Day. Uh, what, what a wonderful thing it is. I, Jesus uh, chose to teach us to pray to the Father, and it was kind of inspiring to me to think about what Jesus said about how we should talk to his Father in the Lord's Prayer. And I thought, as I was thinking about things this week, uh, because this morning I had the privilege of conducting a service that was focused on the Lord's Prayer. And uh, maybe it's a model for the way us fathers ought to be. And maybe it's a model for the way we ought to talk to our fathers. When Jesus said, you address creator of the universe, our Father, which art in heaven, it acknowledged the fact that he was the creator and all of us have biological fathers and we wouldn't have been yeah we were eternally created by the father in heaven but anyhow and then of course the business all about thy kingdom come the right set of rules are, are important for us and our fathers provide those for us and thy will be done the right set of aspirations and our fathers help shape the aspirations that we have as individuals and Give us this day our daily bread. Wow. Provision. Fathers making provision for their families. Forgive us our trespasses. As fathers, we have a responsibility to lead in the virtues and values of forgiveness and restoration and healing. What a, what a privilege it is. So happy Father's Day. One other comment about Father's Day. And it happens when you're as old as I am. I'm just, you know, I'm knocking on the door of 80 and my next one will have an eight in front of it instead of a seven in front of it. And, uh, you know, that happens when you've got one foot in your mouth, the other foot in the grave. But whatever, uh, it, uh, it's that I have developed an appreciation for downstream fathers. Uh, my focus has always been upstream. Boy, was I glad for my dad. But I'm really happy for my sons and their, the way they conduct themselves as fathers. And I think you grandparents out there would know the satisfaction that comes when you see your sons as fathers 
passing to the next generation respect for, well, the right, the right values, the values that Jesus talked about and the values that were brought to us in the life and example of Jesus Christ. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a nut for hymns and gospel songs. And uh, my favorite story about that is the story of Springfield in the Revolutionary War. Now, most of you are saying Springfield. Yeah, I know. That's, there wasn't such a thing as Springfield in the war uh, of, of the Revolution. Well, there was Springfield, New Jersey. And as the Brits were coming down the, what's called the Galloping Hill Road toward the bridge going into town, the colonists ran out of what's called wadding for their guns. You know, the, uh, you put powder in the gun, rolled the ball down in there, but if you didn't have something to hold the ball in, didn't you tip the gun the wrong way? <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Out comes the ball, you miss it. And the chaplain from the group of uh, resistance, you know, the colonists, he ran into the church and got a hymn book. And most of the hymns in those days were written by Isaac Watts. You, you remember Isaac Watts? You sing hymns by Isaac. And he went down the line, ripping out pages of the hymnal and saying, give them watts, boys, give them watts. And they used it as wadding for their guns, and they held off the Brits for a while at the Galloping Hill Bridge. And that's perhaps the first time that hymns really came into play in America. No, they wouldn't, but they, they were a vital part of American history. And I've just loved the idea of gospel songs and hymns, so I'm here to... Here to spend some time with you just to, tonight to, and your invitation to me and, and to my wife Janet is a kind and generous thing. One of you kindly welcomed me tonight and said you were here last time I was here and I thought how that's doubly kind that you came once you come back and you invite me back. I'm really pleased by that. I, uh, so I try to start the day in vir with virtually some hymn or some song and my favorite song I guess I, I kind of got locked in at childhood because I... I got to thinking that well, it would be nice to take scripture and instead of having the preacher read it to you and then yell at you about what it means, that we would read the scripture and we would sing songs that would elaborate the scripture. And so we're going to do a, what's called a congregational service of scripture and song reflecting on this favorite verse of your pastor, which is what an inspiring verse it is. And so uh, prior to the singing of each hymn or gospel song, we will recite Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 in, in, in its entirety. And then we'll read through the verse to, to a key word where we'll stop and we'll sing a song to elaborate on that word. Then we'll go back and read some more, and then we'll come back and sing some more, and we'll read some more and sing some more. And, you know, just before you get jumping to the conclusion that this is a cockamamie idea of Ashcroft alone, well, it is, kind of. But this is in accordance with the instructions about how we should learn things in Scripture. So when we're reading Scripture today, I want all of you to participate. I'm convinced that if we put the Scripture in our mouths, it will find its way to our hearts, and from our hearts it will find its way to our hands and to our feet. And that means we'll 
follow what David said when he said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. So if you would join me, it's about most all the commentary I'm going to do tonight is to uh, say what I've said about fathers and explain how this goes. From now on, we'll be reading and singing together. And please, you look like, you look like a great choir. I, I, I once had the privilege, believe it or not, to direct the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. And that was quite a deal. But you just may be up to it. I'm going to find out tonight. <laughs> if, you, if you are, let's read together. Be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises under God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Okay, now the text for this evening. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Trust. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. When we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no happy in Jesus but to trust and obey not a burden we bear not a sorrow we share but our toil he doth richly repay not a grief nor a loss not a frown nor a cross, but is blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. faith has found a resting place not in device or creed I trust the ever living one his wounds for me shall plead I need no other argument I need no other plea it is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. My heart is leaning on the word, the written word of God. Salvation by my Savior's name, salvation through his blood. I need no other argument, I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Jesus, Jesus, 
how I trust him, how I proved him more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious. Oh, for grace to trust him more. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths trust in the Lord in the Lord fairest Lord Jesus ruler of all nature, O Thou of God and man, the Son, Thee will I cherish, Thee will I honor, Thou my soul's glory, joy, and is pure who makes the woeful heart to sing beautiful Savior Lord of the nations Son of God and Son And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. All for Jesus. 
us all for Jesus. All my rents ransomed powers, all my thoughts and words and doings, all my days and all my hours, all for Jesus, Jesus. hands perform his bidding let my feet run in his ways let my eyes see Jesus only let my lips speak forth his praise all for Jesus all for Jesus and all my hours, all for Jesus, all for Jesus, all my days and all my hours, all my heart, no part reserving, to the Lord I give the whole. All my heart, no part deserving. He has ransomed all my soul. All for Jesus, all for Jesus. He has given all for me. To Jesus I surrender, all to Him I freely, I will ever love and trust Him in His presence day. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms, what a blessed peace, what a leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms, leaning, leaning, leaning on everlasting arm oh how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way leaning on 
everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarms, leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms, I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all arms. Everlasting arms, learning to lean. I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Find. I've ever seen. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. You just might have trouble with this. Just a minute. It's hard to sit still with this song. I believe this song was written about a century ago by an African-American pastor in Philadelphia had a great church of about 9,000 members, and I love it. So if the music gets into your feet or your hands a little bit, it's not my fault. But boy, does it feel good to sing this. We are often tossed and driven on this restless sea of time. Howling skies, tempests off succeed a bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mists have rolled away, we will understand it better by and by now we're singing by and by when the morning comes when all the saints of God are mattered home we will tell the story how we've overcome and we'll understand it better by and by Trials dark on every hand, we cannot understand all the ways that God would lead us to this precious promised land. But he guides us with his eye, we'll follow till we die, and we'll understand it better by and by. Singing by and by. And we'll understand it better by and by. Hallelujah. If that doesn't lift your spirits just a little bit, to know that there's a kind of knowledge that we don't have. The Bible says we, we see now just through a glass darkly, but someday we'll see face to face. And we'll understand it <laughs> better. By and by. Stop me before I want to sing that one again. Trust the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him 
and he shall direct thy paths. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority, flow from his throne unto his own. His anthem raise. So exalt, lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glorify Jesus the King. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct. Be not dismayed, whatever betide, God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God will take care. toil when heart doth fail God will take care of you when dangers fierce your path assail God will take care of you God will take care care of you 
Put your hand in the hand of the man, still the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man, calm the sea. Take a look at yourself, and you can look at others differently. Put your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Oh, put your hand in the hand to still the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man on the sea. Take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently. Put your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Let's go. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. In shady green pastures, so rich and so sweet, God leads his dear children along. Where the water's cool flow bathes the weary one's feet, God leads his dear children along. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, a song in the night season and all the day long. Sometimes on the mount where the sun shines so bright, God leads his dear children along. Sometimes in the valley, in the darkness of night, God leads his dear children along. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. God does lead us along, and ultimately he leads us to our home in heaven. What a wonderful thing it is to consider that. Love divine so great and wondrous, deep and mighty, pure, sublime, coming from the heart of Jesus.
my sin. Love divine, so great and wondrous. All my sins he then forgave. I will sing his praise forever for his blood, his power to save. Oh, he the pearly gates will open so that I may enter in. For he purchased my redemption and forgave me all my sin. In life's even tide at twilight, at his door I'll knock and wait. But love of Jesus, I shall enter heaven's gate. He, the pearly gate, will open so that I may enter in. my redemption and forgave me all my sin. Come every soul by by trusting in His Word. Only trust Him, only trust Him, only trust Him now. He will say, Trust in the Lord Amen. with all thine Amen. heart. And lean not on thy own understanding. Have you said it enough to know it? Amen. And lean not on thy own understanding. In all thy, thy ways acknowledge him. him. And he shall direct thy paths. What a great promise. What a great reality. Thank you so much, John, for being with us tonight and for joy on the piano. Wow. Haven't you enjoyed this? It's been a blessing. And thank you for singing. It's wonderful just to celebrate God's goodness and God's grace. Uh, we're blessed tonight to have someone else with us. Uh, Charlie Ar Arsenault. Come up here. Um, Charlie pastors up in Springfield, uh, Missouri, and pastors the Evangel Temple. And Assembly of God Church there. And I got to know Charlie because his son, Tim, came to our church a few years back. And Tim said, you know, my dad's having John Ashcroft at service. And would, would you like for him to come to your church? And so we had, what, five, six years ago. And what a, what a blessing it was. 
And we just happened to run into each other oh, several months ago in the midst of COVID. We were over at Andy's getting a custard together and we saw each other and renewed acquaintance again and, and said, you know, if we ever have John Ashcroft available, you let me know. And, and he called me up uh, a few months ago and, and uh, we went from there. And it's a Thank blessing. You. Thank you yes. so much. And would you just close us with prayer tonight? Sure. I'd love to. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Pastor. And uh, I want to thank all these folks. They're good singers. Yeah. And um, I'll tell you what, you and I got a good thing going. Joy lives in uh, Maryland. And so she accompanies John, and obviously she makes him sound good. And um, so John is so attached to that that now we fly Joy in. And thank you for helping with that. And uh, so in the future, whenever that happens again, you're going to be the first guy I call. Good. Good. Because it looks like folks are having a great time tonight. And uh, the word of God is so penetrating. And um, it's part of our lives. This morning, John did our first service. And then he did the contemporary service. And I got a report this afternoon that there were actually people that were weeping there. Not because... Uh, the quality of his singing, that was excellent. But because of the reflection they had from their parents, from godly dads and godly mothers that used to sing these songs, and, uh, and so the reflection was back. So thank you so much. And I'm honored to be able to close in prayer tonight. And make sure you stop and talk to Janet, talk to John and Joy. They're a wonderful couple, great part of our church. And uh, uh, he comes and listens to me every week, so I thought this is the least I can do to come and listen to John. And then what an honor to have my grandsons here and my son. So and thank you to this church, by the way, because you've educated uh, three of our uh, grandchildren here, and they just loved it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Father, we thank you, God, for this evening. And I especially thank you for my friend, Alan. And Lord, I pray that you'll continue to bless him as he leads this uh, great church. And Father, that it would be a lighthouse in this community. And we thank you for the word of God tonight that reminds us that we must concentrate upon you, that we must look to you, Lord, that we must lean not on our own understanding, but God, that you've assured us that you would direct our paths. I pray for these individuals that sit here this evening Lord, that you would touch their hearts and God, that you would inspire them as we leave this place and we go into our worlds that we would be a light for you. And Father, I pray for those that may be listening and watching tonight, for anyone that is upset spiritually, that they would understand, God, that if they put their trust in you, you await them. And Father, that you open up the door of, of salvation and eternal life as they open up their hearts. And we give you praise and thanksgiving, especially on this Father's Day, for godly men that are here tonight, that have children and grandparents that are here, grandfathers, that you'll continue to bless them with wisdom and strength. And we thank you, Lord, for the rich spiritual heritage that so many have from a godly dad. And now we come tonight and we close these moments and give you praise and thanksgiving in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. You. Thank you. And God bless you all for being here. We do a hymn and gospel sing on the third Sunday afternoon of each month at 1 o'clock. And if you'd ever like to come and join us, it'll be in July. And it's a wonderful time just of singing together and celebrating God's goodness. May God bless you. Enjoy the rest of Father's Day and honor him, our Heavenly Father. God bless.